When the spring starts, I spend a lot of time in the garden and I want to see some beautiful flowers blooming around me. So I decided to plant the flowers first so I can get inspired to plant and work more in my garden. So these are perennial primroses that I got dark blue and yellow variety and this one is a beautiful hellebore one of the first spring flowers that start blooming it is also a perennial that's why i planted it in ground same as primroses i always plant perennial flowers and plants in ground and then in pots and containers i plant annual flowers so these are annual varieties of primroses and some pansies on the other side of the stairs i did exactly the same uh, pattern i just wanted to be symmetrical and match and i tried to have the same theme uh, with colors so on my stairs on top i have these hanging baskets where i had combined bright yellow almost orangey uh, pansies and blue pansies i think it looks good together last year i had a mix of different colors and i think it looked a little bit too busy so this year i decided i'll go just with two colors to kind of unite it all and put it together and i think it looks much better on the other side of the stairs i did the same thing the only thing is in this bigger um, container i planted uh, other kinds of flowers hyacinths ranunculus and daffodils but in the same color scheme blue and yellow these will last for about a month and by that time I'll have some more seedlings indoors to come out and replace them with some more blooms. I had already started um, one tray of ranunculus buttercups inside like a couple weeks ago and they are starting to sprout so pretty soon I'll need to bring them outside and plant uh, in the garden so this was my front porch and let me take you to the backyard where i had planted two barrels in front of my back door and i planted more pansies of course i needed some color and also i planted uh, peas that was growing indoors these are my own seedlings. I had planted uh, peas indoors about a month ago and it grew up to a decent size so I needed to transplant it um, as soon as possible and I decided to plant it up on this trellis. I had last year peas growing on these trellises in these same pots and it produced quite a lot of peas. I also had some parsley, cilantro, dill and chervil seedlings are ready to go and be transplanted in this herb tower. Um, I planted them one in each pot and also I sowed some more seeds of the same herb in the same pot all around the seedlings. So basically I did a succession planting and hopefully the weather will be nice and we will have all of these herbs growing happily in here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful spring days ahead.